New for 2013, Ruger has introduced a version of the LCR chambered for the 22 Winchester Magnum rimfire. And this combination of firearm and ammunition has us taking notes. Without expounding on all the virtues and vices of the WMR, suffice it to say, it's a low cost, low recoil cartridge with a huge upside. It's great for new shooters and recoil averse shooters. As well, it's very affordable, especially compared to center fire and gun cartridges. Pairing the WMR with the LCR is just good business. The revolver, at barely over a pound, is easy to hold and carry. It is ergonomic in design, aided by the hogue mono grip, and really appeals to shooters with smaller hands, including women. The sights on the LCR include a notched rear, which is integral to the frame, as well as a pin front ramp. Now these sights are low profile and contribute to the overall rounded and snag-free design of the LCR. Breaking down the LCR, I've already mentioned the mono grip, but below that is the fire control group, which includes the hammer, trigger, sear, and mainspring housed in the polymer frame. The trigger is of the DAO, or double action only design, which means that every pull cocks and releases the hammer to strike the firing pin. This usually results in a heavier, longer trigger pull when compared to striker fired or single action designs. However, engineers at Ruger did a great job mostly mitigating these ill effects. The next major component is the cylinder frame and barrel assembly, and it contains the firing pin, cylinder latch, and the stainless steel barrel. Now the frame is made of aluminum, but the barrel, which is just under two inches long, is actually threaded into this barrel sleeve. Finally, we have the steel cylinder and crane assembly. On this particular model of the LCR, the cylinder is designed to hold six cartridges. So if you're planning your first firearm purchase, or you're an old pro just looking for a new carry piece, definitely consider the Ruger LCR in 22 Winchester Magnum Rimfire. It's a proven platform, now chambered in a low-cost, low-recoil cartridge.